robbing banks for your own money. This is a trend happening now in Beirut. And warning, mark my words, this might be what you need to do to get your own money if we move into a depression, which I think is highly likely. So um, in Beirut, um, many of the banks have completely stopped withdrawals. Now, before you say, oh, yeah, well, that's Beirut, that's not London. It happened in 2008. And the depression, I believe, that's coming is highly likely to be worse than 2008. So in Beirut, many banks have stopped withdrawals. And recently, someone went in with a gun and held up the bank to withdraw his own money. He had to rob the bank to withdraw his own money. His own money. Um, now, in this inc incident, 16 people um, were, 14 people were trapped in the building, in the bank, in a 16-hour incident. This went viral in the news in Beirut. And now this has started a trend in Beirut where people are holding up banks to get their own money out. Now, I am here to warn you. I am here to be the purveyor of reality. And before you think, oh, this is doom mongering. Number one, this is actually happening in Beirut. It also is happening in the Far East where banks are stopping withdrawals. In fact, um, a bank in many banks, actually, um, in China, Japan, basically seized their cash and said, your savings are now government assets. Your savings are now government assets assets. Matthew has said, you know, there's ATMs. If you mean just go and get your money out of the automated teller machine, the banks stop you from withdrawing. You can't just go and put your card in and get all your cash out. And you can only get 250 a day anyway. So this actually happened in 2008 in the UK with Northern Rock Bank, although I don't know if anyone held them up at gunpoint. I don't think they did. But the bank stopped withdrawals and there was a mass, well, there was a massive bank run and the bank couldn't fulfill all the obligations. Do you know, because of fractional reserve banking, I don't know if you know this, but fractional reserve banking legally allows the banks to lend and invest your money without giving you any kind of return over and above whatever the interest rate is minus a bit. And do you know that, that legally they only have to hold 10% reserves? So for every £100 you've saved, they've only saved 10 of it and they've loaned out 90 of it. And they're legally allowed to do that with this essentially scam called the fractional reserve banking system. Now, it's good for the banks because they can lend and invest your money for basically free and get a return on your money and turn your cash into their asset. But what if 11% of the deposits are recalled on the same day at the same time? The banks are insolvent. The banks are technically, I guess, already insolvent. So let's say I'd sold a load of products for clients that I hadn't yet delivered. And then I loaned out 90% of the money that I was paid for those products and services for my client that I hadn't yet delivered, that would be an insolvent illegal practice within my company. I could go to prison or be struck off as a director for that. Yet the banks can do that legally. Dirty bastards, they really can. Um, exactly, Benaira said Northern Rock legally robbed their customers. This is absolutely right. This is legalized theft and you can do fuck all about it. Well, actually you can and that's why I'm doing this live. So do not be naive. The banks do not guarantee your money. If they become, well, they already are insolvent, but if that insolvency is 
because more than 10% of their money is requested at the same time. You only need a bit of bad news in the economy. You only need us to move a little bit more into the recession for everyone to lose faith in the system. You only need one piece of bad news for us to go, right, I want my money back. And it's so, I cannot understand how legally they're allowed to lend out 90% of it. I mean, 50% of it, maybe, I don't know, a relatively small amount. Like when we buy property, we're not allowed more than the 70% loan. We have to put in a 30% deposit. Yet the banks can have a 90% loan on your cash and they can get all the interest and all the return and they can pay you virtually nothing. It's a fucking legalized scam. And most people, by the way, they're, they're, they're encouraging it to happen. They are, what's the word? They're implicit in it and they don't even understand this. So this is why I'm sharing this content. So there are a few solutions and I'm going to give you those solutions. But a quick summary. In Beirut, a man went in and robbed the bank to get his own fucking money because they stopped people withdrawing. 16 hour incident, 14 people were trapped. He ended up getting arrested. He tried to sell a kidney first. Uh, and this has started a trend in Beirut of people robbing banks to get their own fucking money. It happened in China and Japan as well. It happened in Northern Rock in the UK in 2008. And if we move into a recession or a depression, or there's one piece of bad news, then what's to say it's not going to happen to your money? It, this is clear, present and real. The 2008 recession, I do not believe, will be worse than the coming one. I believe we could be in a five or ten year depression. I mean, we had Brexit, <coughs> COVID, lockdowns, <coughs> vaccines, um, wars. Massive inflation, massive taxation, now soaring interest rates, food and energy crises. The, your lowest spending power since the Second World War and your wages not going up anywhere near in line with the soaring cost of living. So we've got so many more variables and factors that affect the ordinary people than just the banking crisis of 2008. So number one, you mustn't be naive. It could happen in a bank near you. The banks do not guarantee your money. Sometimes people say to me, oh, yeah, but Rob, the, the banks guarantee £75,000 of my money. If there is a run and they don't have any money, they ain't guaranteeing your money. They will not guarantee it. It is not insured. It could become a government asset at any time. They just press a button, make a decision, and your money is theirs. So here are the solutions. Number one, don't keep much money in the bank. Keep what you need to live and maybe an extra month or two, but the rest of it needs to go into assets. It needs to be moved into decentralized assets or assets that you control. So, for example, you might put it into real estate. You might put it into gold. You might put it into Rolex Daytonas. You might invest it into your business and marketing and generating leads and recurring income. You might start your own membership site and get recurring and passive income from all the members. But you need to keep minimum money in the bank. That is really important. The next thing is you need to be decentralized where you can. Now, of course, Bitcoin is decentralized. There aren't that many other forms of money that's decentralized. Cash is decentralized. Problem with that is um, it, it's going down quite hard with inflation. But um, if you can get your money out of the banking system as much as possible, then a bank run is not going to affect you. It's very important that you're in physical and digital assets. A digital asset might be crypto. A digital asset might be um, a membership site or creating revenue from your content. A physical asset might be real estate and gold and Rolex Daytonas and actual physical hard items that go up in value. Cash is a soft asset. It goes down in value and it's going down really hard now with massive inflation. Whereas real estate and gold is a hard asset and it goes up above inflation. So you've got cash going down but, uh, with inflation uh, and you've got hard assets, gold and real estate going up over and above inflation. So you've got sort of <laughs> that effect, a compounding up and a compounding down effect. The next thing you've got to do is you've really got to learn how the system works. You've got to learn how to be financially independent. And I don't just mean, I think there's two definitions of financial independence. Number one is I have enough money from assets to be independent financially. I can do what I want, where I want and when I want. I, I have enough money over and above my bills coming in to be financially independent. That's meaning number one. Most people do not understand meaning number two of financial independence. 
And that is where you are earning away from the system as much as possible. You are not reliant on the banks. You are not reliant on being employed. You are not reliant on the government. You can get your taxes down. You can get your income streams up and you are as decentralized as possible. And this is absolutely vital. And if you want to learn how to do all of this, I suggest you join Rob.team because Rob.team is my digital financial freedom platform where not only will you learn how to make, manage and multiply money and start and scale your own business, but you'll learn this digital freedom, this financial freedom where, of course, we're part of the system and we need it to a certain degree. But as relying on the system to minimal, you need your direct debits from your bank. Yes. But all your other money or all your other time resources are going to go into assets you own and control, assets that are decentralized, assets that produce multiple streams of recurring income. You learn how the system works because it's very fucking clever and then you turn it on itself and you leverage it for your own gain. So for example, instead of me having loads of money in the bank that the banks can lend and invest out at my risk, I'm going to borrow from the banks and I'm going to put it into real estate at their risk. So if you'd like to learn how to do all of this stuff, just go and join Rob.team. Now, um, all you need to do is type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob dot team. Type it into any new web page. Do it now, because if you don't do it now, you won't do it. Um, so open up a new web page. Type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob dot team. You can join now. It costs less than 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time. There's no ongoing contract. There's hundreds of hours of content on the resource platform. We do Sunday sessions every Sunday. We did the live two-day meetup, multiple streams of business income. I've got the online summit, the recurring income summit, two days coming up in a few days. These are all for Rob.team members. You get upgraded VIP gold tickets completely for free in your membership. So just open up a new web page now. Type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Get the Make, Manage and Multiply Money Masterclass. Get the How to Build Recurring and Passive Income Masterclass. Get the 21 Ways to Monetize Social Media Masterclass. Get the 9 Module 10 Hour How to Invest Series. And it's T-E-A-M, Rob.T-E-A-M. It's all there. Um, There's no risk to you. In fact, there's more risk not doing it than doing it. The community is pushing nearly 10,000 members now. So you've got movers, shakers and change makers who are all part of this um, digital financial freedom movement. Because believe you me, if you allow the government to take all of your tax at source, if you allow them to control your money, then you have no money. Because money is just an ethereal concept and they can print it and lend it to you and create debt on you. They can charge you 55% tax on what you earn and another 20, so 65, 70% tax on what you spend. So two thirds to three quarters of what you earn and what you spend is now in tax and that's only getting worse. So you must act. Be digitally, financially independent and the way that you can do that is to join by typing in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, Rob dot team. Cancel anytime, all online, digitally instantly downloadable, WhatsApp group, Telegram group, private community. Cancel anytime, no ongoing contract, less than 20 pence a day. So my question is, are you going to take this seriously? Because people are now robbing banks for their own money in Beirut. And it's easy to say, oh, well, it's happening in the Far East and it's happening in, happening in Lebanon. It's easy to say that, isn't it, when we're not there? But how do we know it's not coming to a cinema near us soon? I, I, I really, I, I, do you know what? I would be more surprised if in the next five years there isn't a run on a bank and there isn't a bank that shuts withdrawals. I'd be more surprised if there isn't than if there is. I'm not going to say every single bank. And hopefully the government will navigate us through this and make some better decisions. But why would you risk it? Why would you not just leave the minimum that you need in the bank and put the rest into um, inflation beating assets? At the very least, stop it getting eroded by inflation so much. At the very least. But many people don't know what assets to invest in, don't know how to make and multiply and manage money. And that's why you should join Rob 
dot team. I will teach you how on an ongoing basis. There's weekly content, there's monthly masterclasses, there's live meetups, there's Q&A communities. It's all happening in Rob dot team. So join now. Just open up a new web page and type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Rob dot team. Thanks for tuning in. I couldn't believe it. I only spat out my cost of coffee when I saw that people are having to rob banks for their own money. Coming to a bank near you, you have been warned. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.